from a software developer perspective, we see a lot of tests that always happen. Unit tests, mock tests, integration tests, smoke tests, whatever. A lot of tests end up happening in environments when it comes to application level code. However, one thing that we don't see a lot of is configuration language code scanning. So things like YAML, things like Terraform even, right? And HCL and all of that. We don't see a lot of scanning that type of code the same way that we do with application level code. However, it is super crucial. For example, you could scan a Kubernetes manifest and you could find a ton of vulnerabilities that you didn't know that you had. And when I say vulnerabilities, I don't even mean, you know, you're going to get breached by a hacker vulnerabilities. I mean, best practices inside of your Kubernetes manifest. So in this video, we're going to learn how to scan Kubernetes manifests automatically via GitHub actions using Kubescape. So with that, Let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, first things first, I have this deployment.yaml here and all it's doing is it's just deploying a very basic Nginx configuration. It's just a stateless web app. It's got a couple of replicas and I'm using the latest version of the Nginx container image. So now let's head over to the GitHub Actions YAML. Now this CICD pipeline, what it's gonna do is it's gonna have this workflow dispatch, which means I'm gonna click a button for the pipeline to get kicked off. So it's not gonna kick off automatically when code gets pushed to main or dev branch or whatever. I'm gonna click a button, it's gonna kick off. Next, I'm gonna run this on Ubuntu. So the container running the CICD pipeline itself is gonna be running on Ubuntu. And then I'm going to be checking out my code here, which means essentially doing like a git clone to this Ubuntu box. And then for my step, I'm gonna use the Kubescape action. So I'm gonna specify my version right here, and then I'm gonna specify my path. So the path means where your Kubernetes manifest lives or where your Helm chart lives or whatever else you're scanning from a Kubernetes perspective. So in this case, I'm gonna be scanning under the Armo directory, my deployment.yaml here, and as we can see, it is under the Armo directory. So let's go ahead and head over to GitHub, and we're gonna kick off this pipeline. Before running the pipeline, let's go ahead and take a look at how this whole thing was actually created using the Kubescape GitHub action. So if I click on actions here and I click on new workflow, I'm just going to choose set up a workflow for myself. Now I'm not going to do this because we already did it in, in VS Code. We showed the whole pipeline. However, what I do want to show is Kubescape inside of the marketplace. So I'm going to search Kubescape. And as you can see, we have this Kubescape action here. Now, if I click on view full marketplace listing, we can see the whole definition and everything about the Kubescape action. So we can see all of the different flags and options that are available. So we have the Kubescape version, the path to the directory, which we already showed. We also have the threshold in terms of when it will fail, in terms of vulnerabilities found. And then we have the context if we wanna scan an actual Kubernetes cluster. And we can also go to the GitHub for it. And we can scroll down here. We can see a little bit of a readme. And we can even see the code that's used to create the action. All right. So with that, let's go ahead and head back to YouTube. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Actions. And then as we can see, I have my Kubescape scan action right here. I can go ahead and I can click Run Workflow. I can run it as it's sitting on the main branch right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run that. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give this a few minutes to complete. All right, and as we can see, it did complete. It does say that it failed, but it actually did run the scan. And the reason why it's failing is because we have vulnerabilities. So if I click on this right here, I can click on the build. So now, as you can see, it did run, you know, everything ran successfully. It ran Kubescape scan against my deployment.yaml. But as we can see here, we have a few failures. So things like allowing privilege escalation, ingress and egress blocked, and a few other ones here. So please note that the pipeline will fail if you have vulnerabilities. And that kind of makes sense, right? We don't want our pipeline to continue to the next steps or the next stage if we have vulnerabilities in our Kubernetes manifests. So that's how you can get started using Kubescape on your CI/CD pipeline. Thank you so much for watching.